Fellow citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis, very early morning greetings. A few minutes ago, the clocks on our walls and the watches on our hands struck 12.01 a.m., Friday, 19 September 2014. Today marks the historic 31st independence anniversary of the most historic and beautiful twin Caribbean islands in the world, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. From the very onset, I humbly kneel on my knees and beg us to take politics out of the equation as we celebrate this or 31st anniversary of independence. No matter our political persuasion or our political color, I would like to submit here and now that we are all one people. Let's live together in peace and unity. Let's agree and disagree in love, love, love. Politicians and poets tend to speak to their audiences in different shades and mirages. Politicians and poets many times also like to speak in parables. I am not going to use any strange language as I make the next statement though. I will be clear as crystal. We are honestly a nation on the move. Let's celebrate our progress. Fellow citizens, we are not where we are today had it not been for our great past and current leaders and those that serve or served under them in different capacities working arduously to get us where we are today. Premier Robert L. Bratcher worked and worked hard. That is a fact. Prime Minister Dr. the Right Honorable Kennedy Simmons worked hard too. That is another fact. Prime Minister Dr. the Right Honorable Don Denzel L. Douglas continues to work even harder. That is definitely a fact. Dr. Simeon Daniel worked hard. That is a fact. The Honorable Joseph Parry worked hard too. That is another fact. The Honorable Vance Amory continues to work even harder. That is definitely a fact. Show me a perfect person in this world who makes perfect decisions every day and every time so that I can catch the next flight out of my homeland just to ensure that I live the opposite side of the world to where the perfect person lives. The point that I am trying to raise as we celebrate our 31st independence here in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis is this. We must not play politics day in and day out. There is a start and a pause and a finish in every game. Let us abide by the rules and learn to forget politics at times and just love and love and appreciate and appreciate. And never forget to celebrate our maker God and the many blessings that we hold in the palm of our hands daily, oft times being so ungrateful. Intelligent people know when to stop and call a spade a spade. As the new leader of the Blazing Star Movement, Nevis, Brother Juan Week suggested a few days ago in an article he penned, we have progressed but we are not totally there yet. I fully agree with him. What I was also very happy that he did too in his article was to publicly confess that we are honestly a nation on the move. Congrats in coming premier one weeks. I am totally proud of you already. Very serious and critical mistakes have troubled previous administrations and are troubling our world current administrations here in St. Kitts, Nevis and around the world. What should we do? Hold on to the bucket of poison when there are barrels of new red wine from which we can drink? How foolhardy! I know we are wiser than that. On this our 31st anniversary of independence, as founder and leader of the youthful, radical, godly, blazing star movement, I want to encourage us to change our thinking from today. Yes, today. We all have a tendency to call down everything and everyone and fail to appreciate the good that is done and the hard-working people that are making a difference. Let us, from today, 
change our thinking, and become intelligent enough to call a spade a spade, call good good and bad bad. We are honestly a nation on the move. Let's celebrate our progress. We can see it in education and information. We can see it in health. We can see it in sustainable development. We can see it in finance. We can see it in foreign affairs, homeland security, immigration and labor, justice and legal affairs. We can see it in agriculture, marine resources and constituency empowerment. We can see it in youth empowerment, sports, information technology, telecommunications and posts. We can see it in social and community development, culture and gender affairs. We can see it in tourism and international transport. We can see it in housing, public works, energy and public utilities. We can also see it all across the island of Nevis, Queen of the Caribbean. I must state here and now. Our Blazing Star Movement political organization in both St. Kitts and Nevis have pledged to join any legally elected administration in building our nation and not tearing it down. This certainly doesn't mean that we would be silenced with regards to some of the injustices and wrongs that government administrations want to brush under the rug at all. Our Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, at 31 years of age, must continue to celebrate our total freedom and our freedom of speech rights. With that said, we would not be intimidated by anyone, police and or government, as we work diligently to climb to the top of the ladder by God's grace and gain total control of the Twin Island Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis very soon. In closing, let us confess it together again. We are honestly a nation on the move. Let's celebrate our progress. On behalf of my family, the Wallace family, the family of the next Premier of Nevis and leader of the Blazing Star Movement Nevis, Brother Juan Weeks, we take this opportunity to wish you and yours a happy 31st independence. And there is only one thing we want you to do today and forever. That is to celebrate, for we are honestly a nation on the move. Let us not get weary in well-doing. As the Apostle Paul reminds us in the book of Galatians, Stay blessed. Don't give up. Hope is ahead. We will make it together.